Okay, here we are on Wednesday. It is uh, about two in the afternoon. Uh, I made some breakfast this morning, so it was a bit of a late start. We got all my tools laid out here, as you may be able to see. I'm going to be uh, beginning the assembly of the base of the greenhouse now. It took a while to get everything leveled. I moved from over here to over there, moved from over there to over there, and <laughs> there's been a lot of moving stuff. So, yeah, time to get ready. So the idea of this greenhouse is um, basically to make it small enough to fit on the back of a trailer so that whenever we move from here, we can just pick the whole thing up, probably deconstruct it a little bit, but pick the whole thing up, put it directly on the back of a trailer, should be light enough, um, and then we can just transport it to wherever we're going. So I've got this weird method of uh, putting these together that involves a temporary clamping system. Before I uh, put these together, I'm going to pre-drill the holes on the outside pieces. There's going to be, uh, they're going to connect like this, right? And then there's going to be screws that come in from this side. But there's also going to be brackets that go on the inside that uh, uh, kind of just reinforce the joint. So It's pretty simple when you think about it. Uh, all you do is measure a distance this way, and then mark a point here, mark a point here, draw a line. So now you've got a consistent line. And then you just measure in from the outside. This is two and a half inches, and then two and a half inches going that way. So there's my two points centered, and it should be centered on this thickness as well. So it should be good. I'll do that for all of them, and uh, we'll be we'll be rolling here. I'm going to be using uh, three inch exterior screws. Uh, they've got the star head bit. I usually just use an eighth inch bit. It's a little bit smaller than the actual shaft on the screw, but uh, it'll make a really tight fit without it, um, without it splitting the wood. What a setback, that's lame. <laughs> Suicidal tendencies just came on. It's very appropriate. There's your thumbnail right there. That's okay. Let's move up to the next tire size. This is uh, 964th. 964th? 964th? Yeah. Try not to crack this one. Got it just, you see how, how close that is, right? That's pretty good. Now that's not the greatest connection in the world. There's only two screws, but remember I'm gonna reinforce everything once I come back around with brackets. There's gonna be two brackets on each one of these corners. So it should be, it should be overbuilt by the time it's done. Here's the brackets here. So I found that the best way to connect something that's supposed to be square is to do uh, one corner on one diagonal and then do the corner on the opposite diagonal and then put the two L's together. Helps to keep everything straight. Um, I'm sure there's a better way of doing that, but it's just my way. So I have that pretty much lined up. Uh, I just have to drill a few more holes and then pretty much just slot everything together. 
but I'm kind of hot. I'm thirsty, so I'm gonna go in and get a drink real quick. Okay, one root beer and Rice Krispie later. It's getting real overcast. Hopefully it doesn't rain on me. I haven't checked the weather today. Alright, not too bad, right? Looks like a giant raised bed. Uh, that's gonna be the foundation for the greenhouse. Probably cut a door somewhere along there. Or at least a spot for a door. I'm not gonna cut the whole way through the board, but I'll probably cut like a little U-shape. I don't know yet. Well, it's all ruined now.